Hi, I'm going to take a moment to not talk about the course, but just to introduce you to me and let you know a few things about me so that you can start to feel like maybe you're getting to know me. So I am Dr. Jeffrey Lee Dadswell, although if you call me Dr. Lee Dadswell, I will probably look behind me to try and figure out who you're talking to because I'd really rather be called Jeff. You're going to get to know me as your prof, but of course there are lots of things I do other than teach. So, for example, like most of your profs, I do research. I'm a theoretical physicist. The area of physics that I do research on is one that you might not have heard of before. It's called statistical physics, although it's sort of misnamed. It should probably be called probability physics, but statistical physics is the name we're stuck with. More or less, what it's about is that it allows us to connect the microscopic physics of things like nuclei, atoms, and molecules with the macroscopic physics of stuff like amoebas, mosquitoes, you, buildings, planets, galaxies, whatever. So statistical physics makes a bridge between them so that you can use, say, your knowledge of how atoms and particles interact to predict the properties of materials, or you can flip that around and use, say, the much more easily measured properties of materials to tell you things about how the atoms and particles that the materials are made out of interact with each other. Statistical physics is actually a very big field. The specific thing I research more or less is heat flow. So when you have a hot thing and a cold thing and something else in between them, then you get a heat current that flows from the hot thing to the cold thing. And you've experienced this in your everyday life. For example, when you put a frying pan onto an element, there is a heat current that comes up from the hot reservoir, which is the element and flows into the food and cooks it, and some of that heat current flows along the handle, and so you feel the handle warm up. And heat flow is governed by something called Fourier's law, which looks like this. And Fourier came up with this law, oh well, close to 200 years ago now. But there's a lot about it that we don't understand. We know that it usually works, but we don't understand why it works. Physicists generally don't believe they understand a law unless they know how to derive it from fundamental mechanics of particles. So here's where statistical physics comes in. We want to be able to start from how atoms and particles interact and derive Fourier's law, but we don't know how. And in fact, Fourier's law doesn't even always work but we don't understand why it works sometimes and why it doesn't work in other cases. Of course, there's lots more to my life than just physics. For example, I play the cello. And I also dance, although I've been noticing lately when I dance that I don't seem to be as young as I once was. And of course, I do all kinds of other things. If you've been around CBRM for a little while, you might have run into my kids and me at, say, climate protests or recently a Black Lives Matter protest. So, enough about me. What about you? Elsewhere on Moodle, you're going to find a place where you can record a quick little video to introduce yourself.